Dear learners, welcome you again to one of the experiment based on verification of some parameters. This experiment is said to be the verification of KCL. You are very familiar with the rule Kirchhoff's current law, which is very much resembling with the parameter or you can say with the theory called current user rule. If you know one, you can easily do the other because circuit diagram is also same for both. Let us look into the circuit diagram of the KCL. This is the circuit diagram we have in the KCL. Here you can see we have power supply. We have one multimeter which is used as a emitter. We have another multimeter which is used as an emitter. Again one more multimeter used as an emitter and one more multimeter used as an emitter. We have resistances R1, R2, R3 of values 3.2 kilo ohm, 2.2 kilo ohm and 5.6 kilo ohm. So this is how we see the circuit diagram to verify the current law. So this circuit which we have discussed now has been seen over here on the platform. This is the circuit diagram. You can see this part you don't have to worry about because it is for another experiment. So you see consider over here. These are three resistance as we have discussed in the circuit diagram those are 3.3, 2.2 and 5.6. We have connected this with a source. Now there will be four different multimeters. Now here also I will show you. See, this is one multimeter. This is this will calculate the total current in the circuit. This is the second multimeter that is going to calculate the current through the second branch, or you can say through the resistance of 3.3 kilo. This is the third multimeter which is used as an emitter. is going to calculate the current through the third branch or through 2.2 kilo ohm resistance. This is the fourth multimeter which is going to be calculating the current through the last resistance that is 5.6 kilo ohm. And to supply, to give supply to this circuit we are using a dual power supply. We are using one of the mode of the dual power supply to give supply of we are using 12 volts. So here from this 12 power supply we will give 12 volts to the circuit. Let us on this circuit. This is here you can see it's around 11.9, let's make it exactly 12. Now it is 12.0 volts. This is the voltage we are giving to the circuit. Due to this voltage there will be obviously flow of current. Now that flow of current is first. What is the total flow of current is being measured by this flow. So you are seeing here, the total is how much I have kept to measure again, I am reminding you back. To measure the current, we have to keep this mode from off to this range of A meter. You can see this is A meter. Here are various ranges 200 micro, 2 milli, 20 milli, and 200 milli. I am keeping it at 20 milli. Okay? And it is giving a uh, value that will be stable. It is giving around 11.09 is what? Or you can say 11.1, which is in the range of milli. So this is 11.1 milli ampere. Similarly, as this is a total, let's go to the circuit. I have made it manually, I will show you. In that circuit, everything was connected. Not many multimeter and all were connected. I have simplified it to a uh, small uh, circuit. This is the voltage source. This is the first branch, second branch, third branch. Now what is case here? Case here says that in, in a node, the it is the sum of all the incoming currents and the outgoing currents. Here, if we say this entire is one single node, that incoming current is only I and all these currents are outgoing. So I am writing what? Incoming current that is I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, that is sum of all the outgoing currents. Means in a node, sum of all the incoming currents is equal to sum of all the outgoing currents. So this is what case here. Now we have to verify what? That this current should be equal to the sum of all. This we can verify practically using the circuit. Okay. Let's see in the circuit, in the first reading, we are going to calculate this R. So we come to this first emitter. What is the total current? We are saying it's 11.11. So I am writing this, suppose 11.11 in this over here. Here we are writing it to be, suppose this R is how much? 11.11 milli ampere. So this is equal to be something. Okay. Now again go back to the emitter, first second emitter. In the second emitter I am using the same mode at 220 milli ampere and I am getting my second 
I1 current has to be 3.54 what unit milliampere. So again from here I am writing in the I2 so or in this I1 is equal to how much 3.54 milliampere. This is what I have written 3.54 first current in the branch of 3.3 kilo. Again coming back to the second branch that is through R2. What is the amount of current flowing? It is showing 5.38 milli ampere is the amount of current flowing. So again that thing we will write down here 5.38 milli ampere plus. So we will return total is equal to first plus second and plus third. So third I am not going to show you over there. I am directly writing by saying it is 2.13. So I am writing is 2.13 milli ampere. So if I sum up this 3.54, 5.38, and 2.13, I am total getting what? 5 plus 3 is so almost 8, 9, 10. Then this 0 0.5, 0 0.3 become uh, 0.8. Then 8, 4.9, 11.9 is again coming 11.1. So you are getting what? 11.1 as your incoming current milli ampere. And you are getting your out current is outgoing current is also equal to 11.1. So this proves your pitch of flow. All incoming current is equal to all your outgoing current. And how this again resembles to current division rule? You can see in the current division rule, what is happening here in this circuit? This is total current coming. The current is divided here, here, and here. So now your total current has been divided into this, this, and this. So that what will be your I1? What will be I2? What will be your I3? So this I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. This is how your KCL is verified. All incoming current, that is only one I is equal to all outgoing current. That is I1 plus I2 plus I3. That we have used this circuit using this multimeters and all we have verified it. So thank you for watching this video.